overwhelming. Debbie Engel says her daughter Gabriella was assaulted by Zimbabwe's first lady last week. She still can't believe South Africa's government has granted Grace Mugabe diplomatic immunity. I'm appalled that another mother can do what she did and then just walk away scot-free. No apology, nothing whatsoever and just carry on with your life. I, I'm appalled that this woman thinks that she's God and that she's invincible and that she can do whatever, walk into a country and do whatever she wants and then just walk out of it scot-free. Mugabe is now back in Zimbabwe. Lawyers representing the 20-year-old model say they will approach the High Court to challenge the government's decision. With regard to Mrs Mugabe, it is not unprecedented. Uh, it's well known and well published that similar incidents happened all over the world so far. So far she managed to get away with it. But we believe that it's time that the, the law should take its course. The situation was made worse when South Africa's Civil Aviation Authority grounded a Zimbabwe planes on Friday. On Saturday, Zimbabwe did the same with South African Airways commercial flights. On Sunday, the flights resumed. Some analysts say even if South African authorities wanted to make an arrest, politically, there was nothing they could do. A major fallout with Zimbabwe versus take the flag in the embarrassment at home and it seems again we might be heading that way, that South Africa when the option of we'd rather take the flack and the embarrassment and the criticism, but not at the cost of very intriguing, difficult ties with the continent of Africa and its very many states. Zimbabwe's government so far hasn't released a statement. Grace Mugabe has not yet given her side of the story. And the First Lady has not been seen in public since the alleged assault last week. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.